Let's talk sports. I am Theophilo Sampa going straight to the Kempinski Gold Coast um, Hotel where the Confederation of African Football CAF is holding its four-day club licensing workshop and more than 15 member states or countries are participating in the event. 15 countries are participating in the four-day club licensing regional workshop at the Kempinski Hotel Gold Coast City, Accra. Participating member associations of CAF include Host Ghana, Egypt, Nigeria, Eritrea, Liberia, Sierra Leone, South Africa, Eswatini, Lesotho, Botswana, Angola, Kivet, Mozambique, Guinea, and Sao Tome and Principe. Clubs in the Ghana Premier League, the Division 1 League, and the Mota Guinness Women's Premier League are participating in the workshop. The workshop in Accra is the final stretch of the club licensing workshops across Africa, following a similar exercise in Mauritania, Algeria, and Ethiopia. The head of professional football for CAF and the supervisor of the club licensing regional workshop, Mr. Mohamed Sidat, said club licensing has come to stay. Club licensing online platform, by this time you should know that, which is a system that is here to stay. So we are not testing the system, it's here to stay. And the club licensing process for the Interclubs 24-25 season is already open, which means that all the clubs from your federations that intend to participate in the upcoming Champions League and Confederations Cup, they will have to complete the licensing process online. The president of the Ghana Football Association, Mr. Ketu Kriku, highlighted some benefits of club licensing in Ghana. Club licensing is critical for establishing unified standards across all African football clubs and leagues. This indeed ensures that our clubs meet necessary criteria in areas such as infrastructure, which is key, finance, and general club development. Licensing drives professionalism, improves the quality of administration, coaching, and like I said earlier, overall club management. It is indeed a cornerstone for the development of a sustainable and competitive football environment. The general objectives of the workshop is to provide update on the usage of club licensing online platform CLOP for the club licensing procedure and to review the status of the